Hello YouTubers, we're about ready to make another movie or try to or do some attempt at it. Um, you can hear some crazy stuff in the background. There's people at the shooting range today. There's They um, do gun handgun training so you can get a permit for handguns back there. Uh, it's back by the sawmill. And then in the other side, property at the other side of me, we were up at the bonfire last night and about a 12 inch cherry just broke off 10 feet and came down right across the driveway so they're cutting that up today. Anyhow, the movie's on the wood. Here's the wood that uh, we were back here cutting in the last few videos. It's pretty nice wood. Um, uh, they're about 14, 14 foot tall. There's uh, not too many blemishes in it, one or two. Some of them are stains from where uh, the metal gets on the oak and it, it changes the color of it like instantly. Um, now down here, to do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut one and put up. Down here, you can see I put a board across there. There's also a pipe there, but there's a board across there that I set the pieces on. Then at the top, I don't know if I can get up there. People that are builders probably know about this stuff. There's J-Track up there. So it goes under, not J-Track, uh, Z-Track. So it, the board slips up underneath of that so water comes down off the side or wherever and doesn't go into the end of the grain. And uh, that's, uh, so it makes it not too bad. And then I put three screws in each one. See if I can get it to come back down. Now up here, oh, there's a lot of hocus pocus here. Um, but up here, I put once again a board across here that'll cover all that stuff. Then the wood comes down to here and I can set the board up there and then get a screw in it or I put a clamp on it is how I do it. Um, and then they'll be straight all the way across or straight enough for a sawmill barn. Now this is, like I said, this is the pretty wood. I, I don't even know if this is photographing very well. It's hard to see through the little screen what it is. The uh, ugly wood, it's got um, knots in it. There's a sawmill. There's my table that I'll be making the boards out of. I should probably make a board first. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do that. I've already measured them, so there's no point in you know, watch and measure whatever the one is. The next one's, you know, the same plus or minus a quarter of an inch. But there's, in that Z-track at the top, there's probably two inches of play in there. I had them bend it. Um, normally, it didn't got so much bend to it, but I had them bend it out for inch wood. Uh, so gone there. So you'll watch me buzz through this real quick. I'm gonna cut. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll cut the one off, then cut the other end off. Everybody knows how to cut wood, so there's no. Not much point in showing too much of this, not that it'll show. The first cut really doesn't make any difference, you're just squaring it up. Um, so you don't have to have a mark at all on it. So you just square down and... Clean it up. Then you come down to this end. That's where you gotta measure. I have, have to flip it down so you can see me cutting the other end off. That's where if I knew how to edit, it would be a lot better. You wouldn't have to see all this nonsense. But maybe somebody watches. Now I already know my, my, my measurement because off the last board, I keep, keep track of where my measurements are when I'm up there. It's 158 and a quarter. So, cut too much off the other end. I'm right into a knot here, but that'll go up underneath that little thing. 158 and a quarter. Draw my goofy little line. Because I'm not very, I'm not a carpenter, but I can get a couple of things up every now and then. I know that people that are carpenters are going to get on me about having the, you're not supposed to have the table 
at the part that goes off or you won't get a good cut, but I'm not a carpenter, so I'm not too worried about that. So that's that's my piece now. Now I'm going to pick it up and carry it over there, which that ain't easy. Believe it or not, those goofy little boards are heavy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start picking it up, then take it over there, then move the camera. It's pretty side out. See, it's got a little bit of, it's starting to get into the heart of the wood, so that'll be the um, inside. Oh, my goodness. They were 15. I cut about a foot off of it, so they're about 14 foot now. 158 inches. These are a little bit taller than those over there. Now I'll come down here and get the camera and show you putting putting one up. I got to get. Uh, I might need my hammer. I know I need this. Who knows what I need? I'm not, like I say, I'm not a builder. I'm just kind of a hack. Ah, uh, see what we got here. Oh, you're getting, getting seasick here. That's what you're getting. I'll try to put this back so you can see the whole, whole hoop to do. Maybe I won't crash. Uh, maybe I gotta go back a little bit further. I'll get on top of this hill and then you watch a clown in action here is what you're gonna see. It's kind of overcast today, which is kind of yucky, but it's the way it is. Put that there, put that there. I have a little clamp up there. Uh, these are actually pretty heavy. I put this clamp on it, it uh, keeps it from being able to fall out. So at this point, it, it, it shouldn't fall out. It's all the way tight there. Then you got to get kind of a level on it and see about where you're at. It shows it's got to come in, but I got a quarter inch gap. But by the time I get it up there and get it in, It'll probably be all right. Here it'll pivot a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a screw in it here. Putting, putting screws in them. Kind of twist the screw in a little bit to get it started. See, I got a gap there, so to pull it over, that's what that pipe was down at the other section, so now I gotta go for a road trip and get that uh, pipe that was down there, and then you'll see how I get it in. Thank you. 
it's it's within the line. That's close enough. That's done. That's why that pipe is sitting over that other side. Anyhow, that's how I put them up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. If I knew how to um, go fast at it or zoom through them, I'd do them. But I'll probably there's probably only two more over there that are good enough to put up, and then I'll hold on to the rest. Once I get down to that section over there, they'll be a little bit shorter, so I might get some out of that. And same with that section down there. Now I'm getting into into shorter boards. So anyhow, that's that's it for this movie. The next movie is going to be sawing uh, the next log. Over and out for now.